Hi everybody, it's me, I'm Gru, I'm the person who has this channel, and now I just like to talk to you about a few things. And I'm just gonna talk, and I'm just gonna say what I'm thinking as I think it, mostly. And my topic today is going to, well I should say tonight, it's uh, 23 minutes past midnight. So, um, my topic today is is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare which is the new Call of Duty game they just got like announced or something and we need to get a little bit of like context here so that you can like understand where I'm coming from with this so like I am not some fan of Call of Duty in any right okay my first experience of Call of Duty was with Call of Duty 2 on the PS2 I played at one of my friends' house, and we played a call, and it was cool. Except, my dad didn't like it when I played games where you kill people. But, like, I, I had, like, games where you, like, kill robots and aliens and stuff as well, but unless the aliens just so happened to look extremely like people, I wouldn't be able to play that then. But, um... So, when I was, like, 12, it was funny, get his... <laughs> Annoying 12 year old on the internet playing Call of Duty and I got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and I got Black Ops because Well, it didn't look Daunting because it didn't have a number on the end and I don't like just buying a game with a number on the end Like I wouldn't buy Modern Warfare 2 because I hadn't played Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 1 is Call of Duty 4 And I hadn't played 1, 2 or 3 yet so I couldn't I didn't want to go back and do all that so I got Black Ops because it seemed like a cool thing and I enjoyed it and it was fun and stuff and it had zombies and zombies was fun too and it's like a great game for parties and also so it's like I'm also not one of those people that will just play the mindless shooter game I I, I'm, I seem to be one of the few people left on the planet that seems to read books still like I still read books I'm reading Skullduggery Pleasant right now and that's because um I've been I've been reading it since like the first one came out, and I'm reading the newest one, which is like the second last one I think. And then after that, I'm gonna read Jam, because I've had Jam for a while. Um, so what else I was saying? Um, well, it's like I understand when games are good, because you know some of my favorite games are things like so like the Half Life series, and I like Alan Wake and Dark Souls, but I'll also play things like. Uh, um, I can't really think of much else. Oh yeah, I also really like Halo for like nostalgia regions and stuff. And there's lots of I play lots of games, and I watch lots of movies. So I watch like 70s dystopian sci-fi stuff. I watch lots of horror movies. Except then, I'm also the person that would go out and I'll watch the Michael Bay Transformer movies because, holy shit, CGI robot fighting explosions. It's cool. Um. And then, so, that's kind of some of the stuff that you need to see, you know, I'll, I think you can say, I, I say it at least, that it's uh, my curse that I can kind of find the good in most games, and some movies, but some movies are just terrible, just really bad, and sometimes it's happened with games, but a lot of time I'll have fun with a game, like, regardless. So, now I'm going to come here to... Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, I watched the trailer maybe an hour ago, and I'm like, this looks cool. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, you should go watch it. And it's got like, it pretty much kind of looks like it's kind of ripping a few pages out of Crisis. So you got, and but like not in like the kind of like it's ripping it off kind of way, but it's like, it seems like it could easily do a lot of things that Crisis has done with what it looks like it's doing now. So, you got people walking around in like uh, like exosuits, so like, and they can like the robotic like suit, so they can like be stronger, jump higher, and all that shit. You got like drones with active camo and stuff, and you got like planes and guns and lasers and, and robots and bang explosion, cool stuff. Okay, except. As well, okay, yeah, that's why I forgot to mention, is that, um, 
Until recently, I've been one of those people that, you know, says Call of Duty sucks and it's lame and all that. Until I saw what they're doing with Ghosts at the moment. And what they're doing with Ghosts at the moment is that with the last couple of, like, DLCs, um, they have the, uh, like, the map packs. So it comes with the maps, but, for example, one of them comes with Michael Myers from Halloween, and you can play as him on one of the maps. And I love Halloween, and that's cool. And so you can play as Michael Myers, and it's not so good. He has an axe or something, and that's just dumb. But you can also... Okay, and with the newer one, you can play as a Predator from, like, you know, Predator. With the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, and Alien vs. Predator, but it's Predator. And, um... And, you know, that seems really cool as well. And I'm like, yeah, this is getting weird. Like, you, can, you also got that, like, extinction mode or whatever. I actually haven't played Ghosts yet, by the way. And you, So you got this extinction mode where you get to fight aliens, which is, like, the answer to zombies. And, um... It's like... And then it's like, oh, okay, there's a new DLC. And they're adding voice packs for new narrators. And that's kind of... Okay, they've added Snoop Dogg to the game. They're not even taking this seriously anymore. No matter how serious the game can seem, you cannot be taking yourself seriously by adding Michael Myers, Predators, big alien squid things, and Snoop Dogg to your game. I'm liking this new direction, and with this Call of Duty Advanced Wars, it's got all this sci-fi shit, and if you didn't know it was Call of Duty, you would think it's something completely different, and you got like floating motorcycles and shit, and it looks cool and I, I don't care if that all of these cool things are gonna be like one gameplay sequence filled with quick time events I don't care it looks cool and that is something I love I will watch the fucking worst movie in the world and it could have like really cool action sequences like really cool action sequences so you got like the transform these Transformers Michael Bay movies and they got like the CG robots and they do the transformation they're like and it's really cool and there's explosions and it's cool and I want to go see that Robocop remake because even though it's fucking shit I want to see it because it's got the, the CG robot and they go pew, 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 and it sounds cool and looks cool and all sorts of shit like that and it's got like it's CG explosions that's I think that's cool I, I mindless action is cool because it, it's fun except I'm like, okay, so this call, this new Call of Duty, it looks different. It looks cool, and it looks kind of fun, no matter how little any of this new stuff actually makes into the game, I don't give a shit. And then I'm like, maybe some people are sharing my opinion. And now I think you might be able to see where I'm going with this. And I scroll down to the comments, and it's just the same shit, and it's just like, Call of Duty is just the same shit over and over again, and it's like... Did you just fucking watch that? Okay, I get it. It kind of looks like Black Ops 2 in a way with like the near future crap. But it's like, seriously, get off your fucking high horse. It's like, you know, I'm like, so did you see that really cool bit where this fucking guy pistol whipped that dude and then Optimus Prime flew into the sun and blew up Mars and there was a gunfight on the moon with Nazis and fucking octopus people and Bruce Willis was there and it was fucking sweet and Carl Urban was a crab um and and then except these people the way they're speaking about Call of Duty they're just like oh yes did you see that part where Reginald gave a strong telling off to Thomas oh yes that was quite entertaining oh ha 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 fuck you that's stupid I can see your entertainment value in your, you know, the intellectual stuff, but seriously, it's a game, Call of Duty is a game about shooting things, and it's dumb, and I get it, and they've stopped taking themselves seriously, so why are you acting like it's still that same, like, Modern Warfare 2, gray, brown, guns of war is, uh, gears of war? You know, Gears of War, that's, I don't even, I can't even touch Gears of War anymore. I didn't, I like played some of 3 and I didn't enjoy it and then nobody I, I've even talked to like Judgment because it died within like 2 weeks. Except I like Halo 4, how is that relevant? I played it again recently, I'm also playing through 
Um, currently, Assassin's Creed 4 on the Xbox One. Um, the Metal Gear Solid games, I'm up to Metal Gear Solid 3 on the PS2. Um, and all these people just sit up there on their high horse being like, this game is shit, but... I actually just watched the first 30 seconds and I saw a soldier dude holding a gun and that makes it the same as the other ones. And I'm like, what is this? This is this isn't this is the internet. I get it, but why are these people so dumb? Normally these comments, like comments on videos, you'll get the dumb people and then you get somebody, you know, at least one person giving some kind of feedback that's actually intelligent, but Everyone is dumb. Everyone's saying a dumb thing. Everyone is like the responses are just as dumb as the original comment, and all of them say the same thing that Call of Duty is the same. But this doesn't look the same. This looks like sci fi explodey fun about with Kevin Spacey and action. It's cool. It looks cool and entertaining in its own right. You accept it. For what it is, you don't go and fucking watch some kids kindergarten play and be like, this is fucking shit, this ain't no Shakespeare. No, you go, well, yeah, I've really seen too many kindergarten plays because I, I'm not a parent and I don't have no kids. So I haven't seen no kindergarten plays, but I was in the one when I was like three. Uh, but yeah, this was pretty good for a kindergarten play. And I'm comparing Call of Duty to a kindergarten play. It is good for what it is. And what it is, is a game full of spectacle and skybox and scripted events where you just shoot dudes. You shoot dudes, you got your regenerating health that's in everything because it's a convenient thing and it makes sense and the health pickups are dumb and outdated and you got the... You got the bang, and you zoom, and you play Call of Duty multiplayer for a little while, but it's kind of dumb still, because it's like the multiplayer isn't really going to change that much. They're going to like add some new stuff, but I'm more in it for the single player, because Call of Duty is built around single player. Well, it should be, at least, because Call of Duty is like a single player game, whereas you know people are like, Battlefield 4 single player is way better than Battlefield 3. Well, who the fuck gives a shit, because Battlefield is the king of multiplayer, not single player. Single player is not the battlefield field of battle. That's the Call of Duty, Call of Duty field battle. And it's like, get out. Everybody is just so dumb. It's like, because you're not, by saying that it's shit, you're giving it more money. Because you are saying, this game is awful. Except you are the person that's going to go out and buy the game. And just so you can tell everyone else how awful it is in slightly more detail. That's stupid. It's like going to a YouTuber place like PewDiePie and you go to PewDiePie's video and you scroll down on and you go on his video and you scroll and you just like PewDiePie is sucks dick and I hate him. Except you've just gone and clicked on his video and you've given him views and views give him money. And then you've just gone and by making this comment this is PewDiePie is a fuck dick and I hate him uh, you just, somebody else is gonna be like, well, that, I don't like that tone, mister, I'm, j just to fucking spite you, I'm gonna go and watch all of PewDiePie's videos and like them and favorite them, and I'm gonna subscribe to him. And that is what you have done. If you hate Call of Duty that much, look away from it. People say, I am offended by this thing on TV or this movie or this video game, somebody should do something about it, and it's like, okay, I'll do something about it, look over there, Okay? If you don't look at it, it goes away. You stop buying Call of Duty, they stop making Call of Duty, because Call of Duty is about money. You get it? It's all about money. It's about fucking money. Everything is about money. And just Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks cool, and it looks fun, and I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to play it, and I might even play it more than once, but probably not, because I'm a lazy motherfucker. And I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a Pringle out of this can of Pringles. See, so you hear this? This is me eating a Pringle. I'm eating a Pringle. Okay? Fuck you.
If you don't like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, well, that's your decision, but I'm just saying. Um, you gotta give it a chance. It can't just be like, it's a new Call of Duty and therefore it's bad. You gotta let it stand on its own. You gotta think of it not as some story-driven epic. You can't think of it as being some open-world survival game. You can't think of it as being a train simulator. Um, you gotta think of it as being a game where you go around and shoot people, and that's what you should compare it to. You can compare it to Shira Sham or or Painkiller or something like that, because those games are fucking great too. I'm not even sure if this new Call of Duty is going to be any good. I haven't even played Ghosts yet. And Ghosts kind of looks shit, but I don't care. Just fucking get off your high horse. Because I'm going to cut your horse's legs off. And add them to my own horse. Because I'm fucking better than you. I am greater than you are. You feel that? That was me tapping my microphone, which is really bad for my microphone. Why don't they do that? I I'm I feel bad for touching my microphone. I need to get my 3DS charger. I want to play Senran Kagura Burst later. Where is it? Oh hey, I have Titanfall. I forgot. Ah. Why did I buy Titanfall? Oh yeah, I didn't. Uh, it was a gift. Okay. Well. It kind of wraps most of it up, really. I mean... I'm gonna, like, show this trailer to my dad and see what he thinks of it. I'm not gonna tell him what it is, because... You know, he's kind of, like, my authority on, like, culture. Mainly because one of the reasons I read all the old books that are really good, and I watch old movies that are really good, and all that shit is because of him, and he's like, you know, you, you know, if you like this, you should, you know, totally check out this author or something, and I'm like, yeah, I was gonna check out that author, because I heard they were, you know, similar to this author I'm reading, and then everything's good, and I was thinking of something else earlier, and I don't remember what it is, but, um, <laughs> no, fuck you. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm done here now. I don't know what just happened, but I hope you understand my point. I kind of got lost. This is um Assassin's Creed Revelations poster. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to Stop eating these Pringles, even though they're delicious. Pringles are really delicious and, like, Moorish. That means, like, addictive, kind of. Like, you, you want to keep eating more. That's why they're Moorish. There you go. I just fucking taught you. Okay? And I had this... I, I had, like, a shower, and I was thinking in there as well. It's, that's why I kind of lost my train of thought, because I was in a shower. And I was thinking, you know, there's a couple fucking other things I don't like. And I'm like... If I decide to make a video out of this, why don't I make a video out of that? This could become a thing. Interesting. Very interesting. And then I'm just, I'm just thinking, see now, if people actually watch my videos, by the way, um, there'd be people in the comments like, fuck you, you suck. And then I'd be like, I explained it in the video, you just gave me views and I'm signed with a network now. So that gives me money. So it's like, you come here and you watch my video now, fuck off. And then come back and subscribe to my channel, then fuck off. And then tell your friends and come back and bring your friends. And then I get even more. And then you fuck off. And then you come back and fuck off, come back, fuck off, come back. <coughs> uh, oh. I think, um, I think that's enough. Everyone's fucking gone to sleep. Huh. Why is there a monster sticker on my t on my desk? I don't even drink monster. Was Dylan, was that you? The fuck, man.